Tank bugs, dude. What is that? An indica or a sativa? Hmm? Excuse me. Wow. Has anyone ever told you you look like a puffier Winona Ryder? Yes. Well, that's because it's me. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Helio Cafe here in the heart of Silver Lake. Wait a minute. Am I getting punked? Is this a hidden camera show? Where are the cameras? No, relax. There are no cameras. I'm preparing to star in a Netflix original series where I play a crime-solving barista who's also a really bad mom, and I decided to immerse myself. That's impressive. Do you know what you'd like to order? Yeah, I'll have an almond. No, you know what? I'll have a full fat latte. Yeah. Got any sugar? Yes. The white stuff? Sure. Processed shit? Yeah, it's over there. Serve yourself. Fuck yeah. And uh, where is the open microphone going to be held? You know, for people who want to do comedy out in the open? Oh, it's upstairs? Great. Thanks, Chief Brand. Wait, you didn't pay me. <laughs> Kadisha, one more time. Oh my God. I just need a moment of reflection because I'm literally blown away by that performance. Such raw honesty and the way she talked about her addiction and abuse and made it funny. And I don't give a fuck how the manager at Color Me Mine defines indecent exposure or aggravated assault. Because I think I speak for everyone here when I say, Kadisha, baby, we love you. <laughs> we love you. Okay, let's give a warm welcome. We have a first time comic here at the Helio Cafe. Let's give it up for Esther. Thanks, MC. Ladies and gentlemen, I just flew in from Monte Carlo. And boy, are my arms disturbingly vascular. Great crowd. Great crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, my transcendental gestalt therapist told me I was going crazy. I said I wanted a second opinion. And he said, OK, you're also a narcissist. Isn't she that actress that was on Cheers? Great crowd. Shelley Long? Oh, wait, no, she's, um, Great crowd. she's that old lady on American Horror Story. A young Brahmin seeking spiritual enlightenment went to the Buddha sitting under the Bodhi tree, and he said, Buddha, every morning when I wake up and look in the mirror, I want to throw up. What's wrong with me? And the Buddha replied, I don't know, but your eyesight is perfect. Great crowd. Great crowd. Now I'm going to do some crowd work. Hey, what's your name? Frank. No eye contact. Great Frank, where are you from? Oh, well, I'm originally from Texas. I said no eye contact. If you can't follow the rules, I'm moving on. Done. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I knew things were going downhill with my ex-boyfriend, Jesus, when I invited him over for sex and decided to play it cool and let him make the first move. He moved to Florida. OK, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Esther. What a great performance. You know what? I don't even care that you didn't laugh, OK? Because you sweet little shot. Alrighty, let's try. Oh my god, what are you doing? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Cher, what are you doing here? Are you freaking kidding me? The Helio Cafe has the best freaking coffee in LA. The only downside to schlepping to slum is sometimes I get mistaken for Joey Ramone. He's dead. I know, it makes it even that more painful. Words are like weapons. They wound you sometimes. No shit. I was terrible. I blew it. Listen, kid. I sucked. I couldn't relax. They hated me. You did great. It takes a lot of courage to do what you did. 
That's the difference between you and me. That's you and I. No, it's not. That's something Teresa Guadushi says to sound smart and ends up sounding like an idiot. You watch New Jersey Housewives? Well, more Turner classic movies and the Long Island medium. You know, when I first went on stage, Sonny had to push me. You love Guidos. You like who you like. You know, the last guy I dated, I met on Facebook. And for the first two months, he thought I was a share impersonator. Can you believe it? Well. What are you doing next Friday? You want to come over to my house in Malibu for a dinner party? Really? Listen, no matter what our differences may have been in the past, no matter how rude we, or especially you, might have been, there's no time like the present. A fucking men. I know from personal experience just how hard it is to reinvent yourself the amount of times that you have. It's exhausting. I know, right? Men don't have to deal with that shit. All Steven Tyler has to do is rotate his scarf collection. And look consistently macabre in his beach plong. <laughs> You know, I've been a gypsy, a tramp, and a thief. You know why I was so mad at Chaz? Why? Because that was my next move. What was? I was gonna be a dude. My own kid cock blocked me, literally. Thank you.